Howdy y'all and welcome back to our newest episode of Arctic Fox Plays Nexamon KI only playthrough. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember the name of this town. But we're here to find someone who can fix Atlas because we're worried about that, I guess. And yeah. And try to find the rest of our friends after we got our ship crashed by a dragon. So it used to be right here. Hmm. Where the excavation destroyed pretty much all of it, now we live in ruins. Ouch. Wonder if, well, maybe. If I have anything to say about it, or rather if Atlas does. If I ever fix him. Now let's see if we can find this person who's supposed to. Mm, Solace. Oh, Solace, that's where we are. I will do that. Oh, turn up. Uh, how about you? Do you know how to fix this up? I did? I'm not kidding you. I have seen all sorts of things. Too many things. Huh. Dragons. At least two. Let's keep looking. I like this music, though. Hmm. No, why not? Yeah? Complicated how. You don't talk to us, okay? That's fine. Only thing keeping our people from going insane. Oh. Okay. We're here, Jack, and the Nexa Lords. Yeah, I, I can see how that might be. You know, this legend of Olzar, the greatest tamer in history. Ooh, be little grand. Yeah, buried him under the city. Yeah. I've heard that. Ooh, shiny stuff. I am not a miner. No. Okay. Nexo traps. I don't think we're going to be needing these anymore. Now that we have all six of our Nexomon team members. And no, Interfox is an iCat. Interfox is a fox. It's in the name. Don't let the uh, muzzle confuse you. Speaking of cats. Oh, is that person dead down there? Well, well, well. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Ron? Oh, me. Meow. This might be a dangerous place, meow. But I still have to keep my business running, you know? Meow. The folks here are insane, didn't you hear? Meow. Next Lord and the Overseer have been digging something massive for several months now. Hey, what happened to your robot friend? Meow. Not that I care. Yeah, he's partially destroyed or something. I don't know. I'm hoping to like, take him to a mechanic. Maybe he'll finally start giving me toast after this. Because he's going to owe me his life. Elvin. Meow. Of course I've heard about that fella. Meow. He's usually operating one of the cranes at the dig site. Smart guy. Meow. You should come to my store before you go. This place is full of trouble. I got you. Thought he was going meow again, didn't you? Got shiny. All right. Ooh, shiny. So many shinies. Is that an explosive barrel? Possibly. Is this guy dead? Or okay, no, he's still alive. No. Uh -oh. Well, that doesn't look good. Hmm. All right, Ron. What's up? It is. That's fair. Hello, my friend. Take a look. Meow. It's not what I expected. But no, we have like a billion items and I don't need to bankrupt myself for once. Let's try down here. Alvin! Alvin! Shiny. Oh, there's a shiny over there. Get, get down. Let's go. Anyway, I don't see anyone that looks like a mechanic. Then again, this is a crane, so maybe that is Alvin. 
Let's check. Excuse me, is your name Alvin? Ah! Oh my gosh. Did you just shove me off? Uh oh my. Are you okay? Ouch. I think he broke my pack. You idiot. Why did you scare me like that? Sorry. I just wanted to ask what your name was. You were looking for Alvin? That's me, bud. Oh. Well, that's a relief. I need you to fix this robot. Look, kid, I'm too busy to, right now to fix your toaster. Both the next lord and overseer Jack want us to complete the Tizgain as soon as possible. There's no time to rest. Well, it's not a toaster. No, it's not a microwave either. He's a robot. He can make toast, though. Look, that doesn't make him a toaster, though. I'm totally calling him that from now on. See, look, robot. What in the world is this thing? My best friend made him, so I can't really let him not exist anymore. I've never seen a toaster this advanced. Just kidding, Bao. I recognize a clever design when I see one. Gotta admit, this robot's piqued my interest. Hmm. Can you can you fix him? Yes, no. I'll need my toolbox for this, but it's at the dig site. I suppose you can come with me to pick it up. If anyone asks, tell them you're my assistant. Alright. This is the second time I've been told like, to pretend to be an assistant to someone. Alright then. Follow me whenever you're ready, pal. Sure thing. I don't have a whole lot better to do until we fix the robot. Because if anything happens to him, I think Ellie might kill me. Alright. To the dig site! Away! I'm just grooving. Uh oh. Uh, mm. Quick, hide in the urn. Gentlemen, today is the day you will witness the product of all your efforts. The almighty Gundra lies under our feet, and you will have the honor of awakening his unstoppable power. Grunda's coming will make history, and you shall be part of it. What's the matter, Fenrir? That kid and the other fools, they're on their way here. Did Murda not sink their ship? I can still sense them nearby. Murda can't get anything right. <laughs> I trust you can shut them down before reaching Grunda's chamber. I will. Let no more be said then. We'll make our way to your sibling's chamber. Hmm. <clears throat> You heard the boss. As overseer, I want all of you to put every ounce of effort you've got into this final day. Let's dig up this big grunda fella. Then, and only then, will we be finally free from this darned dig site. Get to work! Oh. Hmm. We well, used to... Rolf Fenrir's weird sensing of us. You didn't know we were just standing there. I count that as a win. Hi, Alvin. Oh, there you are. We picked a bad day to come, don't you think? The next alert and overseer Jack are both here. Did you know they are about to break into Gundra's chamber? I don't really see the point of reviving that big pile of bones, but it's the next lord's orders. Are you sure you want me to fix your robot? We can always do it some other day. No, it, it kind of has to be now. I'm on a timetable. All right, all right. Keep your mouth shut and don't touch anything in there. Everyone's busy working extra hard. So don't think they'll notice you. So I don't think they'll notice you. Also, don't think about it and then they won't. Okay. All right. Ooh, shiny. No, he said not to touch anything, but can I have that shiny thing over there? Impressive, isn't it? And no, keep your grubby little hands off. Grunda of the Earth was one of the seven powerful generals that fought mankind thousands of years ago. After the legendary hero, Olzar, defeated Grunda, 
humans tried to bury him in this massive prison. They were afraid Grand Death would come back to life, see? And now, the next Lord himself is trying to do exactly that. Nobody really knows why, but we've got no choice but to obey our overseer. Anyway, let's look for my toolbox. It can't be too far. Awesome. Watch out for wild Nexomon around here. For some reason, Nexomon near the chamber are really hostile. I could tell you why. Also shiny. Alright, let's get looking. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's a little dinosaur in an egg. Oh, I love it. I love dinosaurs. <coughs> Sorry. I think uh, <laughs> an Alvin's voice messed with my throat. <laughs> What to do is a little dinosaur. Oh, I love dinosaurs. Man, I wish I could see a dinosaur. Speaking of dinosaurs, anyone else going to see the new uh, Jurassic World movie when it comes out? Because I'm definitely going to do my best to. I don't know if I will, but I want to. <laughs> uh, love dinosaur movies. The Jurassic Park series. Favorite movies ever. Just amazing. Just dinosaurs. Oh. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Oh, is that your bag? Got a lot of tools. Uh huh, the damage isn't severe. This is a well designed robot. Yeah, Ellie's kind of a genius. Some tweaks here and here. This should do the trick, I think. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Please don't eat me. Eat that kid instead. Oh, really? Really, Atlas? I knew it. I knew we couldn't trust you. This. At least feed me food so I'm nice and plump for whatever you're trying to feed me to. Oh. Hello there. This is a little uncomfortable. Where are we? And I totally didn't try to have you fed to a uh, invisible dragon. Wow, what was that? Yeah, we're in Gundra's tomb. They must be breaking into Gundra's chamber. What? Listen up, buddy. You have to leave this place immediately. I'll go help the other miners break into the chamber. Jack will go nuts if he realizes I'm slacking off. I'll see you later, all right. Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna get that shiny before leaving. So, this is the place Grunda is buried, huh? Where are the others? I don't know. I found Willy and, you know, the nice shaman lady. You. Broken in the heat. That's it. I see. We really need to find them. This isn't good. The Nexolord must be about to resurrect Grunda. We have no choice. We must stop the Nexolord ourselves. Uh, I don't... Really, do, I, do we have to? Like he does? There's no other way. If he revives Grunda, there will be five champions to worry about. If this experiment works, the Nexolord might decide to revive Omnicron next. I mean, that's true. I can sense a... Tremendous energy signature deep within the mines. It's now or never. Can we do never? Can we? We're gonna need that. We're totally gonna need that, but we're gonna do that uh, next time. Because... And it's totally not because I don't want to. No. Oh, okay. Hi, Hi Feramoth. I didn't know you were in here. Bye, Faramoth. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll go and, I guess, stop the Nexalord uh, next episode. So in until then, if you like the video, leave a comment. Maybe leave a like. Oh, but if you're really adventurous, subscribe for more. Maybe. I don't know. Could be a thing. But until next time, remember, guys, power to the paw.